hi everyone hope you are all doing well today we are going to see a mini craft vlog of how i create a craft hamper but before that a glimpse of the climate here in chennai it's been raining heavily and the climate is very smoothing so to go with the climate first i marinated some crispy fries with cauliflower to go along with some hot chai after that I started my daily practice of lettering. I practice about 20 minutes every day my basic drills for brush lettering and calligraphy. Every day practice helps a smoother finish while we start writing. This is a mini haul from Itsy Bitsy that I got to curate the craft hamper. I have got some DIY kits Uh, the hamper is for a eight-year-old kid, so I've got some craft kits to go into the hamper. That's a little bird house, an embroidery kit, some alphabets uh, as per the initial of the children, and a small palette. And the palette is for my personal use. Today I will be curating the hamper in an MDF tray. The size that I've taken is six inch by four inch, and this DIY kit uh, perfectly suits into the tray. The deco, uh, the MDF tray is from the Element Craft Studio, and it is already polished. The tray has an extremely smooth surface, so you don't have to give a primer and can directly start painting with the medium. Here I have used chalk paints from Itsy Bitsy. The color that I'm using is pink palette, and I'm directly trying to use it over the board. The flat brush that I'm using here is uh, not branded. It's from a local market here, and I got it for very less. It was it's just like five rupees or something. Uh, I bought it in the five rupee market or the China market that we get sometimes, and it really helps a lot while working on uh, these surfaces and for decoupage. It's easy to fill a lot a larger area. Next, using a darker shade of pink, uh, I'm going to use distress the edges of the tray, and I've also distressed the corners on the four corners and the base of the tray. So there is a contrast created. This I've uh, distressed using stencil brushes. Again, the stencil brushes is also from Itsy Bitsy. Usually I try to do decoupage but this time I decided to use transfer me sheets. So I'm using a deco transfer sheet of lavender blossoms and I'll be using a, a tea cup with lavender flowers so that piece with again with some butterflies. So using transfer sheets actually gives us memories of childhood where we used to have tattoos uh, with uh, which we get with bubble gums. Or any small snack. After giving a coat of water, I'm just giving a little pressure for the design to stick to the base. And after a few seconds, I will remove the top paper. And the design sticks beautifully to the base. This is another mini butterfly I'm giving on the side of uh, the main picture.
while pulling this off i think i was a little impatient i put the transfer sticker out so i just pushed it with my finger to create kind of a half butterfly after the water and the stickiness dries off i will give a coat of varnish and complete the piece So here the varnish I'm going to use is Little Birdie's Decoupage Glossy uh, Varnish. So this can be directly used over to the picture but definitely make sure that your base is dried off completely. Else uh, when we push on the brush uh, over it the wetness would pull the sticker off. Giving a generous uh, amount of decoupage uh, varnish I've given a coat of varnish on the sides and base also and once it is dried I will be curating the hamper in this tray. Since the supplies were out I also tried a small piece of work on an acrylic disc and I converted it into a keychain. I've used the small elements of the transfer sheet and I've painted the base with chalk paint. Soon I will be curating the hamper and I will also post a vlog on that. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this vlog. Have a great day. Thank you.